As you know, we have studied in this chapter number one of chemistry class 11 about the significant figures, calculation, molecular formula, empirical formula, mole concept, Gelusak's law, and so many topics. After completing this chapter, you are feeling some problem when I have asked the question to the students. So, dear student, I am today here to solve your problems and to to uh, clear the numerical problems, what you are asked or what you are facing the problem in the numerical. So, first question here, how to calculate the volume of any uh, gas at STP? So, dear students, see, first of all, if you want to calculate the volume of any mass of gas, at a standard temperature and pressure. So what you have to do first a mass is converted to mole and then to volume. What we have to do for the conversion of mass to mole and mole to volume at a standard temperature and pressure. So suppose you are having mass of any gas so that mass should be divided by divided by molecular mass. If you will divide the molecular mass, the gram mass of any substance by its molecular mass, so it will be converted into mole. When you will convert into mole and then you want to find the volume of that gas occupied at a standard temperature and pressure, so that mole should be multiplied by 22.4 liter but it is in case of a standard temperature and pressure so this is the most important concept for the calculation of the mass to volume suppose I am giving you one question that calculate the volume of 6.8 gram NH3 at a standard temperature and pressure. So dear student, see here what is this? First of all, this mass is converted into mole by dividing the molecular mass. So here we have 6.8 gram NH3. So first of all, molecular mass of NH3, that's equal to 14 plus 1 into 3. How this is? Dear student, see this is nitrogen. Nitrogen's atomic mass is 14 and hydrogen 1 into 3 so this will be 17 then this mass that means 6.8 gram divided by this molecular mass so become so you will get the mole so mole is equals to gram mass upon molecular mass that's equal to 6.8 gram upon 17 so this is point 0.4 that means you can say 6.8 gram ammonia that will be equals to 0.4 mole of um, ammonia after calculation of the mole you have to convert into volume by multiplying mole by 22.4 so volume is equals to 0.4 into 22.4 liter so 4 for the 16 4 to the 8 4 to the 8 sorry 4 to the 8 1 9 4 to the 8 so point will be her and liter this mean this is 8.96 liter dear student if you want to find the molecules or atom from the gram mass of any substance so what you have to do first of all mass mass is converted into mole by divide by its molecular mass then converted into molecules by multiplying 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so you will get molecules and if you want to find the 
atoms in that so multiply by atomicity atomicity so see here suppose you want to calculate the number of atoms or molecules in the given mass of gas okay so question is calculate the number of atoms of oxygen in 1.6 gram O2 at a standard temperature and pressure so what is the concept telling see here okay student so first of all we convert the mass into mole how by dividing its molecular mass this is oxygen its molecular mass that's mean o2 16 into 2 that's equal to 32 so mole is equals to the mass is given to you that is 1.6 gram 1.6 divided by 32 so how you will do this that's 10 this is 1 by 20 then it will be multiplied by the avogadro's number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so you will get the molecules so molecules is equals to 1 by 20 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 this mean Six, this number of molecules of molecules of O2. Now you have to convert into atoms. That means the question is telling calculate the number of atoms of oxygen in 1.6 gram O2. So what is the last term? Multiply by atomicity. You are seeing that oxygen is a diatomic gas. Its atomicity is two. so if you want to calculate the number of atom of oxygen so in the molecule you have to multiply by 2 so number of atoms number of atoms is equals to 1 by 20 into 2 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 this cut by this here 10 and one power is removed due to this 10 in denominator So 6.022 into 10 to the power 22 atoms of oxygen. Okay, student. I think you have got everything here, and you have uh, calculated the volume from the mass, and you have calculated the number of atom from the mass. Now moving towards the next point. Okay. so class 11 student now i am giving you some question you have to do in notebook and submit me for the correction suppose i am giving to you question number 1 this is calculate the volume of 6.4 gram so2 at stp question number 2 calculate the total number of total number of atoms in 9.0 gram c2h6 question number 3 what is the volume of what is the volume of nh3 occupy in 5.1 gram nh3 at stp now what is the next topic which in which you feel the problems yesterday i have explained about the significant figures and in that i have asked the question today but you are unable to solve this so 
some students are giving very correct answer but some are feeling some trouble so no problem dear student if you have any type of query you can ask in the comment section you can solve the question in the comment section and send suppose we want to calculate the find the significant figure this is 8.314 so how many significant figure there is student it is very clear there are four significant figure one two three four four significant figure but when we calculate anything suppose 8.314 plus 2.91 we have to add and we have to find the answer in correct significant figure so what we have to do first we have to add the this so it will be 4 and uh, 112 3 9 12 carry on 1 and 8 to 10 1 11 this is your answer but how we will find that according to the significant figure see here this is the first number in this how many significant figure there are four significant figure and in this you are seeing there are three significant figure one two three four one two three and your answer answer is containing one two three four five significant figure so how many significant figure in is correct in the answer that should be according to the question in the question you have to see the least precise that's mean which have less number of significant figure that will be the correct answer in the so this contain three significant figure so answer should have three significant figure so you have to write the answer up to three significant figure now what we have to do we have to round the next round of the next figures here it is four here two so if here more than five so we can increase one number here but if it is five or less than five so we have not to use in to increase we have to write the same number so we can write in place of by removing this 11.22 because this number will be removed and we will not increase any number agar yaha pe 5 se kam ya 5 hoga 5 hoga so we have to remove number as it is and remove it and if there is a bigger number 6 or 6 then we have to remove it and 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 remove it then we had to write the answer in 3 significant figures but you are seeing how many significant figures are here 4 significant figures we have to remove it and if this number is 2 then we will remove it from this number because it is 5 or 5 from 5 तो हम इसको रब करेंगे हटा देंगे तो ये आपका करेक्ट आंसर हो गया 11.2 इट कंटेन्स थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम साम गिविंग यू वन मोर क्वेश्चंस हियर सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर टू यू फाइंड द सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स इन करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर 2.496 इनटू 3.24 the you should write the correct answer in according to the significance number question number four now five how many significant figure how many significant figure in Planck's constant 6.64 into 10 to the power minus 31 okay dear student i think you have to solve this question and submit here and if you have any type of query write and send me that sir please solve this question i will send you tomorrow in the solution queries good night have a nice